In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NiNO32 plus Na3PO4. This is nickel to nitrate plus sodium phosphate. So the first thing with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. I've already balanced the molecular equation. If you need help with that, there's a link in the description to how to balance this equation. Next, we write the state for each substance. So if you know your solubility rules, nitrates are very soluble. So we're going to put an AQ after this. So that's going to dissociate into its ions. Phosphates in general, they're insoluble unless they're bonded to something like sodium or potassium or the ammonium ion. So this is going to be soluble as well. It's going to dissociate into its ions. And we said phosphates in general are insoluble, especially when bonded to transition metals here. So nickel to phosphate, it's going to be insoluble. That means it's going to be a solid. When these two react, it forms that solid. That falls to the bottom of the test tube. This is a precipitation reaction. So we have our solid here, and we said nitrates are very soluble, put an AQ. So we have the states here for our net ionic equation. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and this will give us the complete ionic equation. So we don't know the charge on nickel because it's a transition metal, but we do know that the nitrate, the whole thing here, is one minus. Since we have two, that's two minus, nickel has to be two plus. So we have three nickel two ions, and I won't write the states right now, I'll write them at the end, plus we have two of the nitrate ions, then sodium group one on the periodic table, that has a one plus, and the whole phosphate, that has a three minus. So we have three times two, we have six sodium ions, and then we have two of these phosphate ions. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids up, so we just write nickel to phosphate. Then sodium, that's positive, the nitrate, that's a negative, so we have six sodium ions, just like in the reactants here, plus we have six nitrate ions, NO3 minus. So this is the complete or total ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. They haven't changed, so we're really not interested in them. Let's see, reactants and products. I can see right away I've made a mistake here. I have two nitrates, but really it's two times the three. So that should be six. Let me change that. So now we have the six nitrates, that's correct. I can see that I have six nitrates here in the reactants and in the products. So I can cross those out. I also have the six sodium atoms here and in the products, so I can cross those out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for nickel two nitrate plus sodium phosphate. I'll clean it up, write the states in, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for nickel two nitrate plus sodium phosphate. You can see that charge is conserved. I have three times plus two. That gives me a plus six. Two times the minus three, that's minus six. So they balance out net charge of zero. This is a neutral compound, net charge is zero. And the atoms are balanced as well. Earlier, I made a mistake with the sodium ions. I would have caught that here because my charge wouldn't have balanced or the atoms wouldn't have balanced. Always good to check at the end for charge and for the number of atoms. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for NiNO32 plus Na3PO4. Thanks for watching.